Hi guys, Brian here from Briartech.co.uk. Got another video here for you on how to disable the Data Execution Prevention Program, DEP for short. Now, this will be the error message, or it's not so much an error message, it's more of a just a, a box to close the actual program down and it will allow you to change the settings as well as you can see there's a little change settings sometimes this doesn't come up and you have to uh, muck about with it to get it to change the settings so what I'm going to do is show you how to adapt it to allow the program through but it, I find it sometimes still a bit of a problem even by doing that or I'm going to show you how to completely disable the whole bloody thing so you don't have to worry about it now I'm going to show you how to do that in Windows XP and Vista okay so let's get started so the first thing we need to do is right click on my computer okay go advanced and then up the top performance this is where it actually uh, the program is and then data execution prevention now this is by default it'll be on this okay now if you are getting a problem and you want to keep it and you don't want to disable it cl click on this one okay click on add and this will make an exception for this program so you need to find the program in C drive program files Internet Explorer click on that click OK and there you go that's an ex and then click apply and OK and that will give you the exception for Windows Internet Explorer and that will let that go through okay but I have done that before and it has still caused a lot of problems so personally I'm just I'll just disable it that's the way I I mean I can't be bothered with it so just remove that if you want to uh, if you want to keep it uh, if you don't want to keep it just remove it and then we're going to disable it now okay so that's how you keep it anyway now to disable it completely right click properties advanced and go to start up and recovery inside here click on edit now this is your actual bootloader so what you need to look for is you can see the opt-in part can you see it no execute opt-in we're going to always off okay this is what you need to do if you want to put it back on you just need to come back in here and change it okay be very careful when you edit this file because obviously if you make a mistake it won't work boot properly okay always off like that and then just click on file and save okay and then okay and then okay right just quickly reboot just to show you and then uh, we'll go on to Vista and have a quick look at Vista okay so let this reboot Okay, it's rebooting up. Okay, so what we need to do is just I want to just show you what it's done. It's probably it's just uh, grayed out the actual program so it doesn't work properly now. But it won't work at all, let alone properly, which is what we want. Let's go to settings, and there you go. It's grayed out. It's off. Okay, you can see it's been turned off. Okay so that's how you turn it off on Windows XP so what I'm going to do now is show you how to turn it off on Windows Vista so I'm just going to quickly reboot Vista on I've got it on um, virtual machine so I'll see you in Windows Vista shortly okay so here we have Windows Vista booted up let's just get rid of that right so to actually do uh, do the same job in Windows uh, Vista what you need to do same thing properties I'm just going to quickly show you how to add the files just in case people didn't know uh, advanced system settings uh, down there click on that and obviously you've got your performance which is the same thing you can see it there and this is how you would actually add a file or program I should say so for instance uh, if it was an actual program that you wanted to add a game or something you would obviously add the executable file into this area and that would be it you that would be it will be working okay so that's how you actually add a program and let's just disable this puppy and get rid of it for good now you can't do it this way inside here okay so what we need to do is we need to open up the uh, command prompt type cmd inside the, the run bar there and make sure that you are running and as as administrator okay so if you're not running as administrator make sure you right click yet on the actual thing and run as administrator does that make sense so you must make sure you're in administrate uh, straighter otherwise you won't it won't work 
Now in there, we need to put in this command, okay? Now this is the command we're gonna be using, always off, okay? This is to put it back on again, so you do the same thing, but just change the end part to opt-in, if you wanna turn it back on. We wanna turn this thing off, so right click, copy, and I'll leave that in my description so you don't have to type it all out, because it can be a bit of a pain. And then, obviously, just push enter, six, and it should say the operation completed successfully. Okay, exit out of here like so, reboot the beast and uh, let's have a little look and see what's happened, it should have greyed out and that should be the job done, ok I'll quickly pause this, ok so that's now loading up, I'll just uh, load this up to show you that it's been disabled and that's how you actually disable it, now it's entirely up to you whether you want to keep it on or off, you've got the two choices there, personally I've turned it off drives me nuts. And once that's loaded up, again I'm just going to show you where it is to show you what it's done. It's just grade it, it should grade it out and and it should be off now, okay? Performance. And there you go, it's grayed out and it's turned off. Okay? So that's how you disable it and that's how you add programs to the actual uh, exempt from using it, okay? So it doesn't actually bother the program. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I hope this uh, video has been some use to you. Please leave your comments if you've got any. Subscribe to my channel. Got any videos you want me to make? Send me a message and I'll do my best to make it for you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.